Afternoon world, welcome to Tuesday 16th of July, aka Mrs P's birthday, and I've kind of let her down today. Right then, we need that. And we need this. So yeah, today is Mrs. P's birthday. And we had plans to go and do some stuff today, spend some time together, go here and there, you know, just have the day together. And it's, it's not worked. So about four o'clock yesterday afternoon, that's when it started. Started getting the old churny tummy feeling, and just feeling a little bit hmm, uncomfortable. And that developed onto last night to uh, me not sleeping very well at all because I was literally sleeping with a concrete mixer for a tummy. And this morning when I woke up, I felt rotten. I felt like somebody, come on, somebody opened me energy tap. I forgot to turn it off again and it all flowed out so so yeah the plans for today for me and Mrs P spending time together have come to naught so in fact the time now is well it's 24 hours and I'm just starting biscuit will you stop it biscuit oi I ain't got time for that this afternoon just shut up you miserable little cow she's just trying to be friendly She's so miserable. Can you hear it? The collies just want to be her friend and she's just being a right madam. Ain't you? Anyway, I was saying, it's about 24 hours since this started. I'm just starting to pick back. I've had some lunch, so I feel a bit better now, but yeah, this morning I wasn't going anywhere. I'm not going to go into detail because you just don't need to go on. You can go in, misery. There's no need to go into detail. But, uh, so Mrs. P's had to make alternative plans with daughters. She's off with Holly now. I think they've gone down to Booker's or something for some stuff for the kitchen. Um, I mean, Julie doesn't mind. She understands that I just didn't feel, just didn't feel like it. Um, and I'll make it up to her. But anyhow, I'm feeling a bit better. I'm fed up being in the house, feeling sorry myself. There's a job here that wants doing. You've seen me do this before. Chances are most of you are not going to be interested in watching me do this again, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the only thing that's going to happen today. Not, not much else is going to happen. The only other thing I did this morning when I thought I'll, I'll try it and see if it'll help was I did walk all around the farm this morning and I have actually opened all the gates. So yesterday I had plans of shutting the cattle out of the golf course and the bottom right hand field. Um, and they, they really, really let me know that they weren't happy about that. So, uh, we had a choice of trying to rotate the grain for grazing. That's choice one. Choice two is open all the gates and just ranch the lot and just give them the room of everything and they can walk where they want and chew the bits they want. And, and that's what we've done. That's just what we've done. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not expecting to achieve an awful lot today, but if I can do at least one job, if I can fix that, because the grass out on the common, our front drive, is half cut, half a job, and I'd like to finish it. It's not gonna fix itself. You can go up there with a bit of slack. You can go up on there and you. Now I know what the dog was lying down there for. 
she pushed her ball under the blinking mower. You, pain in your arse. Yes, you. Anyway. I got down all right. Getting back up might be the hard bit. No, I haven't got time. I haven't got time. I love you too, but I need to get on with this, all right? Yeah. And what are you pouring at? Just pouring at me. Stop it, pouring at me. I love the dogs, I do. But there, there are just times... When, no, I'm not, I'm not throwing the ball. I'm not throwing the ball, okay. All right, no, you have to give me some space. I need space. Right, so I've got to take that one off there. And I've got to take that one off of there, and I've got to do the same the other side. Then I can get this knackered belt out of there. Is that a 13? 13. 13. Is that 13? No, that's 12. That's 13. That's what. No, don't, no, you have to move. I don't want to play. She says, well, somebody doesn't want to play, he still threw the ball. Yes, I did. That was a bad move, wasn't it? Come on, off you come. Oh. I don't know quite why you need quite such a long bolt. That can come off there. Huh. I wonder if that's what caused the problem and shredded the belt. Because that was jammed right in there. It might be. Simple as simple as that. Thing is, I've done it so many times now. I I know how to do it. Other side. Oh. <laughs> I can't throw it if you don't give it me. I wasn't going to do that. Right. So I can get this thing off of here. So, got the tension off the spring. Let's get a bit of that crap out of there. Do you know the easy way of getting that belt off there? Yeah, that way. That's by far. The easiest way to do that. Shame it's not as easy as that to get the new one back on. Right. So even though I know what I'm doing with this now, because I've done it a few times, it doesn't seem to actually be getting a lot easier every time. I don't know if that's every time I do it I'm a little bit older and not quite so subtle that's got that one two more bolts to go when we're back together well nearly anyway that's it we are all back together again all I've got to do now is, well, put that end back together again and go and cut some grass. Uh, you go in there, and you go, no, you don't go there. 14, 13, hang on, hang on. 
you go there, you go there, you go up there. It's more like it. Done. Uh, where's the 10 mil? should have it done.